sad demise of Hollywood royalty Ben Affleck who is distraught at losing Batman role, and is in rehab for a third stint after Jennifer Garner's dramatic intervention. She arrived at the pound 15 million mansion with a lawyer and carrying a Bible, and left with Ben slumped in the back seat of her car and looking like a broken man. Ben, 46, had spent days partying with 22-year-old Playboy model Shauna Sexton after splitting from TV producer Lindsay Shookus. The Sun can also reveal that Ben was told by movie bosses that he would be axed from the Batman franchise in favor of a younger star after the next film. The two-time Oscar winner was said to have fallen off the wagon a while ago and got worse. It led Jennifer, 46, who has daughters Violet, 12, and Serafina, 9, as well as six-year-old son Samuel with Ben, to read him the riot act. She was forced into more drastic action on Wednesday after pictures emerged of him taking delivery of a box of beer. Their only stop between his L.A. home and the clinic, believed to be the Canyon facility in Malibu was at a fast food drive through Ben spent time in rehab in 2001 and last year revealed he had sought help once more. He said, I have completed treatment for alcohol addiction, something I've dealt with in the past and will continue to confront. I want to live life to the fullest and be the best father I can be. Once one of Hollywood's most bankable stars, those close to Ben revealed that he went willingly for a third stint. Having appeared as the Caped Crusader in 2016's Batman v Superman and last year's Justice League, both to mixed reviews, the news that he would be dropped for future outings hit him particularly hard. That followed a number of professional flops, including 2016's Live by Night, which he wrote, produced and directed but which failed to recover its pound 50 million budget prompting him to seek comfort and drink. Friends say he will now take an extended break and check into rehab for a long-term program. Just weeks ago, Jennifer furiously confronted him about his troubles while the pair watched their kids play football. He and Jen have been separated since 2015 and started divorce proceedings last year but, as one friend put it, she doesn't want her kids to grow up without a dad. Ben has previously expressed his gratitude to Jennifer for standing by him as he battled his problems but has failed to get his partying under control. Friends had hoped his romance with Saturday Night Live boss Lindsay would help haul his life back on track in the wake of his latest treatment efforts. But instead Hollywood sources say he has become a regular fixture in Tinseltown's glitzy celebrity haunts often surrounding himself with a glamorous entourage of boozed-up hangers-on. His latest appearance with Playboy girl Shauna saw him looking disheveled, and in the June issue of the adult magazine she boasted how she could drink whiskey all day. Yesterday, she tweeted an apparent message of support, writing on Twitter, Healing is lonely, hang in there. One friend told how he consistently puts himself in unhealthy situations as he surrounds himself with party girls and old drinking pals who have seen him fall of the wagon in the past but continued to encourage him to join them. They added, Lindsay was a huge support to Ben and he was doing really well. She thought they had a future together and was a positive influence, but he just felt tied down. Jennifer yesterday appealed to U.S. reporters for compassion admitting that their current situation is difficult. Ben's return to screens in the Justice League sequel, scheduled for 2020, has now been plunged into doubt as panicked bosses were forced to suspend production until he is ready to work again. Warner Brothers is understood to be bracing for a financial hit. One source close to production said, they want to get this one done and out of the way as quickly as possible but need him to sort himself out. They're very aware of the knock-on effect delaying Justice League Part 2 could have and they're already behind compared to Marvel's Avengers films. It's a total disaster. It is the latest professional disaster for Ben, who has endured a turbulent career. Last October he was forced to apologize for groping a TV presenter several years earlier during an appearance on MTV's Total Request Live. The incident saw him called out by a Twitter user for grabbing her breast live on air, posting. He grabbed Hillary Burton's breast on trail once, everyone forgot though. Hillary, 36, replied to say she had not forgotten the assault, and added, I had to laugh back then so I wouldn't cry. Ben later said, I acted inappropriately toward Ems Burton and I sincerely apologize. The writer and director, who won the Best Original Screenplay for 1997's Good Will Hunting and Best Picture for 2012's Argo 
has also been dogged by rumors of an out-of-control gambling addiction away from the spotlight. He is said to have joined fellow A-listers including Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire at underground high-stakes poker nights, run by author Molly Bloom, at the Viper Room in L.A. He was even barred from playing blackjack at the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas after a series of large wins aroused suspicion. But he insisted reports of an addiction were BT. What is clear is that Ben's demons have a habit of creeping up on him and are believed to have been a factor in the breakdown of his marriage to Jennifer, who he married in 2005. The couple began dating after working together on Pearl Harbor and Daredevil and following Ben splits from Gwyneth Paltrow and Jennifer Lopez. But their divorce continues to drag, with a judge recently threatening to throw the case out because they have not filed the proper paperwork.